Voters in Lewis and Clark County will choose their first leader of the newly consolidated sheriff and coroner's office in the upcoming election. MTN's Jonathan Amberian looks at some of the issues that separate the two candidates. Both men running to become Lewis and Clark County Sheriff Coroner are longtime law enforcement officers. But incumbent Sheriff Leo Dutton, a Democrat, and Montana Highway Patrol Sergeant Jay Nelson, a Republican, have different views on how to address the county's issues. Both candidates say they're concerned about rising crime rates in the county, particularly for drug-related offenses. Nelson says he wants to focus on increasing enforcement. He says the department needs to reevaluate how it's using its employees. One of the examples I, I said is uh, looking within, looking within to the leadership of the sheriff's office. Maybe some of those people that aren't currently in uniform in a marked car need to change around uh, so that we can put more deputies out on the road that already exist within the agency. Dutton says more enforcement alone won't be enough. He wants to maintain partnerships with other agencies to provide treatment and other services. We would fill up this new jail that we're going to build on the first day if we don't have other components that help us realize that you know we, we have to reduce the demand. Now I'm telling you now that just focusing entirely on for enforcement has got us to where we're at now. Nelson says he wants to see more data about how the county's pretrial services program is working, but he's concerned about the fact that some people arrested have been given cell phones to remind them of court appearances. I'm all about making sure people aren't in jail if they don't need to be in jail. However, we have to make sure the community's safe. We have to make sure that we're not benefiting people that do crimes by handing out cell phones. Dutton said it's early, but the pretrial program is having positive effects. He also noted the money for cell phones is coming from a grant, not the county budget. What those cell phones are doing is helping us get those people out of jail, well, roughly $35 a month, compared to $120 a day that we have someone in your dime in there. Nelson also responded to an incident in 2011 when he was disciplined by the highway patrol over allegations he improperly claimed overtime. He said he had been doing MHP work while at a second job and that supervisors had previously approved him doing that. I've been made better by this. If you're telling me it's wrong to do work and get paid for it, I'm completely flabbergasted. I had three supervisors tell me that I could do what I'm doing. Dutton admitted there have been cases where his employees have been arrested and where his office has been sued, but he said the office has a culture of accountability and those issues are addressed in a way that's in line with their core values. I've been sued many times for the jail, but not successfully. Yes, there had been some settled out of court, but I've not had one settled for losing, same way with the civil division. I've been sued for uh, civil issues, but not one successful because we have leadership. In Helena, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News. More than 27,000 absentee ballots have already been mailed to voters in Lewis and Clark County.